Ted Pritchard has been mad like about magic. steam ever since he was a boy, when he built his first steam engine with his father. A little bit wet at first, and then away we go. Convinced that steam still had a future, Ted went on to design and build a revolutionary new steam engine, which he put in a Ford Falcon. Operating controls of the Pritchard steam car are simple. A foot accelerator controls the flow of steam to the engine, and a lever, resembling a gear shift lever on the steering column, controls both forward and reverse movement. The new vehicle caught the eye of US motor manufacturers, who tested it extensively on the streets of Melbourne. The Pritchard steam car already meets and surpasses 1975 automotive emission standards established by the United States government. The car was even flown to the US, but unfortunately the steam-powered Ford never took off. The motor companies promised to fix up the existing cars as the best bet, so that the engine seemed to drop back, we had to give it away. We just could not financially support the work any longer. That was an extremely disappointing time. Ted put his steam dream on hold for 30 years. When he returned to the drawing board, he had a new plan and a new partner. Hi. Oh, it's Deja. Where are you going? Oh, the <laughs> Mike McCann. Yeah, hello. Mm. How are you? Going? Mike McCann could see a future for Ted's engine. It's a power generator. It's going to be small enough that two people can pick it up and put it on a ute. It can run on almost anything that'll burn. So villages, communities that might not be too prosperous can provide themselves with basic services like lighting and refrigeration, burning straw or sawdust or peanut shells. With limited finance, Ted hand drew his dream steam engine right down to the last nut and bolt. He does the complete engineering specifications. Any competent engineering shop can take Ted's drawings and build from those drawings. Sadly, Ted passed away in 2007. But Mike was determined to see Ted's dream come true. And with some venture capital, he got to work on a prototype. These components here are all made as per Ted's drawings. Right. They were all fully dimensioned as per his drawing. Yeah. After 12 months of making and assembling all the bits and pieces, the Pritchard steam engine prototype is ready for action. We're running at uh, 1600 kPa. Uh, we've fired up the boiler about 30 minutes ago. This is in operating temperatures now, and we're about to spin the wheel on the uh, Pritchard Power S5000 steam engine. So let's do it, Pete. Okay, whoa, we're making electricity. Ah! <laughs> electricity from wood. Give it some steam, Pete. I'm going to plug in this other lamp. That's two kilowatts. We've now got a small scale steam engine. All the basic principles are demonstrated. I would expect to see these machines in the field being used by people who don't have to pay for diesel to produce electricity in their villages, the Philippines, uh, Southeast Asia, India. So, from his handmade toy engine, Ted's steam dream might have finally paid off and revived the form of energy we might just need in challenging times ahead. Yeah.